Should we start every episode with our feet up? Actually, you know how we should start every episode? How? Since nobody loves you, we sh- do you want to remind each other what's shitty about <laughs> no, the other person? I don't want to do that. All right, here's my thing that's <laughs> shitty about Carl. When you drink stuff, it gets in your mustache. Not anymore. I shave. It it's makes not me, on my lip dude, anymore. It makes me want <laughs> to fucking off myself. It's so it's disgusting. It got gross. really bad. I let it. I let it really. I let it literally like grow into my mouth. Like it was. It was bad. I almost. I'm literally gagging thinking about you drinking milk. <laughs> well, I could still purposefully do that. It's the most repulsive thing on the planet. Okay, that's why nobody loves you. Now you do me. (sighs) I don't love you. (laughs) (laughs) Really, it's taking you this long to think of one thing that you fucking can't stand about me? We live together and have known each other for like 10 years. Nobody loves you because... You're cranky in the morning. Yeah, I am. Stupid idiot. Idiot bitch. He literally, you can't speak to him. There's no you reason. You can't to, get near him. There's no reason to speak to me before 10 a.m. There's no reason. You can ask me like to like. If I don't I'm, care how well you can spin words to make it seem like it's a justifiable anger, but there's nobody else in my in my entire life that like is as angry as you in the morning and it's stupid because you like to make yourself get up early and you shit on people that sleep in but no, then you no, are a no cunt in the morning no i do not shit on people who sleep in you are a c word <laughs> listen i am not a cunt in the morning well me yes i am a cunt in the morning yeah but I do not shit on people for sleeping in. If you sleep in, that's fine. I gave that up. I've had that mentality in the past. I have. Where like if you don't get up, I think that's fucking stupid. I just don't like people who like do nothing all day. Like yeah. I it's I actually have more problem with people who get up. I fucking hate this. Let me tell you what I fucking hate. People who are like, you gotta oh most billionaires, most millionaires wake up at 5 a.m. Most Billionaires wake up at 4 a.m. That's the stupidest fucking statement out there. Most billionaires aren't billionaires because they wake up. It's because of the things that they do after they wake up. That whole fucking... Here we go. David's off on a fucking rant. That whole fucking bullshit. (laughs) Here we go. Here we go. That whole fucking bullshit that... The entire internet is obsessed with like, oh, here's the, the the morning routine for fucking success. Suck my fucking asshole. Yeah, Every- fuck you, Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> and you too, Jocko Willink. Come Who's- come to my house, bitch. Beat me up. I don't care. Who's Jocko He's Willink. like a former Navy SEAL. He's like just another one of those i could take him bro I he wait he posts a picture of his fucking casio g-shock every morning at like 4 33 all right and he like deadlifts a thousand pounds and then eats a, an entire elk and then <laughs> let, me, let me let me let me try and then to, says some shit about not being a bitch let me try to make my point super concise for for tiktok clip reasons all right so here's my problem with saying you know wake up early just because, right? That well, Most billionaires wake up at, at 4 a.m. If you're just waking up at 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. or whatever, and you go on fucking TikTok and you scroll for a half hour and then you mosey out of bed and you make your coffee and you fucking journal. Not shitting on journaling. I get it. Journal away. Journaling is great I for journal. you. Uh, gr- journaling is great for you. I journal too. But like taking two and a half hours to get your day going, like journaling, fucking cold plunge. I literally do all of these things. But, <laughs> but... To Fuck s- you, you're a piece of shit, you're wasting your time, but I do all of it too, and it's not a waste of time when I do it. But to say that, like, you are productive, period, because you wake up early is fucking dumb. Also, the word productivity to me is now annoying. I'm now annoyed by the word productivity because everyone's so obsessed with being productive that they're willing to be productive in any direction towards anything. They'll be fucking productive towards fuck. 
My point is... Don't give the examples you want to give on camera right now. <laughs> Productive towards... Typing! Paper mache. <laughs> I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I know a guy. Oh, he's going to see this podcast. He won't. We can't clip this now. No, I don't give a shit. He's going to go fucking watch it. All he's right. not going to watch it. I know somebody. No. And I mean, I've told him this. The typing thing. He's trying to get good at typing. He's trying to get good at typing. He's trying to get faster. So he's like every morning like typing. Listen, dog. Hold on. Let me finish a my career point. in shorthand is not gone from the world. He doesn't know what he's trying to do. Yeah, I know. So nobody wants to. If you're just like trying to get better, I guess I'm being a fucking asshole. Because like getting better at anything, you might as well just get better. I just think typing fast is a fucking stupid skill. I don't know who who can't type fast. It's 2023. Everyone's typing all the time. Typing. typing. Remember, remember, like three minutes ago when I said I want to make this really short. This episode. So, no, I oh, wanted the, to like the, the tangent. Make my tangent. Oh shit! What time did we start? Uh, sometime in between eleven twenty and eleven twenty nine. Sick. Um, yeah. Sorry, that was. Whew, just went off the rails. Do you a feel bit. better? No, Not, he doesn't. No, because he's a fucking cunt. Yeah, and it's still before noon, yeah. and he doesn't feel better. He's just angry I guess, all the time. I guess you're right. That's why no one loves me because I'm a cunt in the mornings. Yep. I, I don't get. I actually, I really don't get why I'm so pissed off because legitimately in the mornings. Or at night, I have to prepare for the morning. If I have shit to get done, I have to prepare for the morning like I'm about to deal with somebody else. I swear to God. <laughs> like, I have to set alarms and reminders in my phone. Like, I have to write things down like, remember you wanted to do this. That has been a legitimate thing that I've well, written okay. down. Like, this is Being what you want. Because in the mornings, I wake up and I'm like, I don't even know why the fuck I wanted to wake up and go to the gym. That's fucking stupid. I'll just, you know, I'll just be 10,000 pounds. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. Being organized is something that, honestly, that's something that gets on my fucking nerves is people that judge other people's organization systems because it's something that everybody has to tailor to themselves. So you doing all that shit is like, okay, maybe you think you're a little bit neurotic or whatever the fuck, but... A little? But that's just your process, and if it motivates you to do the things that you wanted to do the night before the next day when you're an angry bitch in the morning, then that's fine, and it works. And I suck at organizing my days. But you said your original point was you don't like people who judge others. Yeah, I think that there's the the back to the whole, you know, be productive, wake up at 4 a.m. It's all smoke and mirrors unless it works for you legitimately. And you oh, can't yeah, base your you can't base your lifestyle off of a bunch of bullshit Instagram influencers yeah. because they just want you to buy into it because they want your fucking data, bro. So <laughs> they want your follow. They want your they want to sell you to Google. That's what I wanted. That's it's what I was bullshit. trying to get to before I got so angry that I got off topic. Um, <laughs> my point is it, it, it's, it's bullshit. Like I said, like I do all those things. I journal, I, I do cold plunges, right? I do all that stuff. And there's certain aspects of it that work for me. The cold plunge. I cannot recommend it enough if you're wired like I am. If you're a total fucking cunt in the mornings, you got to wake up. The cold plunge is the way to do it. It's a great way to start your day. But if it does, just because Bill Gates does this every morning doesn't mean that it's that's the key to fucking success. The key to success is you working at max capacity or not working at max capacity. Like just your workflow being the ideal thing for you. And for some people, that probably means like... The answer lies within. The power within. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it just, it, for some people, that's going to mean maybe taking time in the morning. Unfortunately, everything maybe is... Maybe it means working late at night. Maybe it means working at 1 a.m. Maybe it doesn't mean waking up at 4 a.m. It's just... My point is, is like, just because one billionaire does x y who's that fucking billionaire that eats like cheeseburgers and and cherry coke warren buffett yeah i think yeah the yeah, key yeah, yeah. to success is mcdonald's yeah for him for him and he's done that not for, for like you probably for, not for, for you decades apparently he just eats like 
ass. That's sick, though. That's <laughs> sick. That's so cool. That's so sick. That's dude. so cool. He, just, he, means eat he could eat. He all day. could literally eat anywhere, any day, every day, and he eats McDonald's cherry coke. And I'm pretty sure he does eat really expensive steak. Like every day, he goes to some steakhouse. It's super. He's expensive, probably but. also on like fucking stem cells. So like he's drinking fucking blood with the Clintons, bro. Whoa, Obviously, whoa. let's go. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> let's go. Oh Speaking God. of, this is a good pivot. Speaking of conspiracies, did you hear about the Ohio chemical spills and how the government just burned like hundreds or thousands of tons of toxic chemicals into the air in Ohio? Um, I did not, but if you give me a brief synopsis, I'm sure I will give you a an opinion okay. that I will stick so to there was on camera. A, there was a train that derailed. I don't know, I'm listening. I don't know what derailed said train. However, ooh, we might not have enough time to really get into uh, all of it. No, bro, we've only been going for 11 minutes. We're good. Sick. Okay, so there was a train that derailed in Ohio. Um, I don't know how... It was derailed, but I'm pretty sure people said they saw Bill Clinton throw a baby in front of it, and that's how it was derailed. So, <laughs> Wait, um, is, that, is that like a legit conspiracy theory that like the Clintons had something no, to do with no, it? No, no, oh, I'm, I'm just making that up. Yo, you're gonna fly. get we're gonna get <laughs> fucking taken down off YouTube for fake news. All right, no fake news. Bro. I don't know how the train was derailed. I know that the train fell off the tracks. It was carrying a lot of chemicals, but um, uh, one of the major ones was hydrogen chloride or something like that, or that's the chemical that it that uh, is that it yields when it's burned. Okay, it was carrying vinyl chloride, which is a known carcinogen to humans. And they pretty much were like, we don't know what the fuck to do, so they evacuated a huge area in Ohio and they just fucking lit it on fire and pictures of it are fucking crazy. It, lo it looks like a nuclear fallout. It's fucking wild. So here. I was kind of distracted. So, but let me just, let me just reiterate here. So you're saying that a train derailed, there's chemicals on it. It spilled. They evacuated a town. How big? I don't know how many people, not like displaced. fucking Columbus. Well, I mean, fucking look at it, bro. It's fucking Holy crazy. Holy shit. I'll put, a, I'll put a photo up there. Yeah, it's... it's you can just swipe wow. through it. Though, I think if you swipe two more yeah. times to the right, there's like a, a far away picture that shows it, and it's fucking crazy. I, what are you doing? I'm going to screen record your phone, so I'm just going to put it uh, right there. Okay, sick. Hopefully um, no one texts you anything embarrassing while we're doing this. That'd be fun. It'd be hilarious. Everyone's going to know you have fucking AT&T. <sighs> Get off my phone. What are you... I'm going to text myself yeah. embarrassing things. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's... People are fucking pissed. And, uh, you know, certain headlines are saying that it could be the brink of the, you know, like, ecological disaster of the century. And pretty much they did a controlled burn of these substances, which just yields another toxic chemical. People are claiming that Thousands of fish are being found dead on riverbanks, that farm animals are dying, chickens are dying, pets are, are irritated. People are saying that the whole town smells like chlorine, that their skin is being irritated, their eyes are being irritated. It seems like it could be way worse than like Flint, Michigan was on the outside looking in. Wow. Now, same week... Give me my fucking phone. I never texted myself anything. Same week, um, there was another chemical spill on a highway in Tucson, Arizona. Um, and I, there was another chemical leak the same week in Texas somewhere as well. And it just all seems insanely crazy. Why are all these chemical leaks? Like, what were the other ones also derailed trains? No, one of them was a truck, I think, that crashed on a highway. And the other one was just like a plant that was just leaking. And they caught it late or something like that. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm such a fucking idiot. I was like, how the, what kind of plant is leaking chemicals? I'm thinking, <laughs> yeah. You guys want to make bets on how long this plant next to me is going to live? Um, but yeah, I was talking to somebody like, it's definitely all connected. And now I'm going to buy into that. I think that is all connected. connected. No, but it is fucking crazy because um, 
dude, they, I mean, you saw the pictures. They can't believe they fucking lit it on fire. And then yeah. they're just like, you know, hey, it's safe now. Everybody come back. And everybody's like, my eyes are itchy. It, Damn. It's fucking crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. All right. Here's something. I mean, right in our fucking backyard in Doylestown, Pennsylvania. Mm-hmm. Um, Maybe five, seven years ago or something like that at my parents' house. Some people came up. They knocked on our door and they said, hey, we need to test your water. Um, we have like we have a suspicion that in your area, your drinking water is where there's well water. Your drinking water is contaminated. Right. They test the water and they're like, nope, you're good. You're good. No toxic chemicals in your water. Fast forward to last year. Knock, knock, knock. Hey, remember when we said your drinking water was fine? And we're like, yeah. They're like, well, we weren't right. It's fucked. Now, thank God, they told us, like, oh, yeah, you know, your drinking water's fine. So we ended up switching, but we didn't believe them. So we ended up, like, switching to, like, one of those water coolers or whatever. Because mm-hmm. we're like, there's definitely fucking chemicals in this water. Yeah. They're like, oh, it's, it's just below toxic. You know, so we're like, all right, fuck that. <laughs> it's just below toxic. So you but, don't know how much water I drink. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Come so, on. So now they're like, oh, just kidding. It was fucked. So that shit probably happens all the time. There's no way. Yeah, and that was just that was just from a small like, was it like a printing company or chemical company like down the street? Like, there's some shit where it was like maybe there was a fire somewhere and they used and they're. I think this was like. The cover up. It was probably it was like there was one fire and they used uh, chemicals to put it out. I guess like anti anti fire chemicals. I don't know fire retardant. Yeah, fire retardant. And um, you're not supposed to say that word anymore, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, oh, what a classic! Classic. Joke. classic. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, they just. It's crazy because that just happened to your neighborhood, and imagine how I many bet that shit happens all yeah, the fucking time. And you see their, you see their reaction, like chemical spill. They're like, "All right, we'll just set it on fire, dude." And there's no way, like Los Angeles water isn't like, like low key poisoned. Oh yeah, when I tell people I drink our tap water, they're, they're like, like "You're the fuck fucking is- a crazy person." Yeah, whatever, bro. I don't care. There's just drinking it out of a fucking camp cup. This thing probably hasn't been washed in three years. Who gives a fuck? Um, probably your body. Nah. I swear to God, I don't think the water hydrates you here. I think it dehydrates me. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, I'm always dehydrated, so there is a theory to be tested there for sure. You know. So that's saying that it's probably it might be like Flint, Michigan. Like it's in just, the future, I you mean, still can't drink the water. It's fucking crazy, man. Obviously, it's not good for the environment to just burn like thousands of tons of toxic chemicals into the air, while it also definitely was soaked into the soil to a certain extent. And there's going to be runoff. It's just, I don't know. I mean, I don't think that there's any conspiracy as to what happened with the accident. I'm sure that there's an explanation for it. It just sucks that any solution was a fucking shit solution. And I'm sure that there's smart people that were like, well, we fucked up. The only thing we can do is try and scorch scorched earth. You know what I mean? Um, and they probably, it's, Probably was just a lesser of two evils situation, but everybody is fucking pissed off about it. I think the thing that scares me is that there probably isn't a lot of research as to if you burn X amount of tons of chemicals into the air with certain amount of people living within this radius, how long do they need to be evacuated before they come back given certain wind currents and certain amounts of precipitation It's just crazy. Like, there's no way that they know down to an exact science how long those people need to be gone for. You don't think they can, like, test the soil and be like, okay, there's got, like, there's, like, it's, like, 12% completely fucked. There's enough people that they can make a prediction of what's going to happen with, like, the weather and the ecosystem. But there's, it's not, like... Other than trying to make like scale models or a hypothesis, there's no way to tell for sure what's going to happen. And they just were, they said, okay, everybody can come back and everybody's experiencing symptoms of irritation from these chemicals in the air. And the, I don't know if anything came out about the water being fucked up, but a bunch of fish died and people are leaving. They're just straight up like, fuck this shit. We're Do you know out. what the town's called? Uh, no. 
I'll take a fucking look. Well, Clara's looking that up. I mean, uh, we're almost done. Um, uh, damn. You know, I think a lot with this podcast, I wanted to make it about music because we're both musicians or whatever. But, you know, toxic chemicals are pretty cool to talk about, too. Yeah. You think someone will write an album about it? We can kind of loop it around uh, to our genre, to our niche. You think some? What was that song? Train that, derails outside of Detroit, Michigan. Have we been talking about Ohio this whole yeah, time? No, it is Ohio. I, I think there's just another train. Oh, <laughs> I shouldn't have laughed. It's East Palestine, Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> That's a place in Ohio? Yeah. All right. You know what they say, free Palestine, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Jesus Christ. There's no second camera angle. We're getting crazy. Uh, we're getting crazy, this one. Yeah, uh, it's actually, you know what it is? It's uh, fire retarded <laughs> Ohio. <laughs> East fire retarded Ohio is what it's called. Uh, Jesus. Not having the second camera angle if like, listen, I mean, we're good people, but sometimes we say things that we try to make each other laugh on this podcast. So sometimes like, you know, certain things come out and you're like, oh, fuck, probably shouldn't have said that on camera. Whatever, bro. If anybody the- makes it 30 minutes in, then they have the right to yell at us for what we say. Yeah, facts. So. All right. Bye, everybody.